you do not have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars buying loads of different lights and lighting accessories to make great looking videos. It's amazing what you can do with a single light source and a few different tips and techniques. This is lighting setup number four, which I'll talk about in a minute, but let's just head back to the very beginning with setup one. This is probably the simplest lighting setup you can create with a single light. I've got the light off to my right hand side about 45 degrees from the camera and lifted up a little bit above eye level pointing down at me. This is a hard light source. We don't have any diffusion or any soft boxes or anything else. You can see that the transition from the lit side of the face to the shadow side of the face is very harsh. It's a very clean line between light and shadow. We've also got this hot spot on the cheek. It's a very harsh look overall and it's also lighting up the back wall quite a lot because the light's spilling all over the place. So setup one was hard and moody. We can try and increase that moodiness by adding what's called negative fill. So this is just areas of dark material or black paper or black card to stop light from this side coming back onto this side of the face. So we've still got the light on that side. You might be able to see a little bit more moodiness now. And this is what it looks like behind the scenes. We've got the camera tripod there. As before, I'm standing on those marks there. And on the right hand side of me, I've got the light as it was positioned exactly the same before. And we've got a couple of extra things now. If I take you over to look at this one, the purpose of this is to stop the light from bouncing onto that back wall there and back in my face. And then we've got this big piece of negative fill there. This is some cloth suspended from a C stand and the purpose of this is to stop the light bouncing onto these white walls here and then back onto the unlit side of my face which is here. If where you're filming has loads of white walls then adding negative fill is really going to make a difference but if the room you're filming in is already dark maybe loads of dark wood or charcoal or black walls all the way around negative fill is going to do a bit less for you. So the main difference with this setup number three is that we've added some diffusion to the main light there in the form of a softbox in this case you don't have to buy a softbox instead you could hang up a white bed sheet in front of the light or even use a white shower curtain to add a bit of diffusion and make the light softer. Make sure you stay safe if you're going to do that approach though so don't put any flammable materials anywhere near any light sources. I'll go and put links to this softbox and also this light in the description for this video. In this version we've still got that negative fill in the same place as we had it before and here's the softbox that we're using. What this softbox is doing is it's transforming that really hard harsh light source and it's spreading out the light over a bigger area. This increases the size of the the light source which has the effect of softening the light as it falls on my skin. You can see in this setup that the overall feel of the image is a lot more soft and pleasing and the transition between the lit up side and the shadow side is a bit less harsh than we had before. We're still using negative fill here so we are getting a very dark shadow side. We'll see how to change that in setup 4. And that brings us to setup number four that we had right at the start of this video. We've gone the opposite way now and what we've done is we've removed the negative fill and we're actually trying to reflect a lot of that light back onto this side of the face to soften up this side of the face, reduce the shadows, make it feel a little bit less moody. As you can see that big bit of negative fill we had there is gone and what I've done is I've replaced it with a little bit of fill to reflect the light coming from the key light back into the other side of my face. So on this side all I've got is a bit of white material that I've hung down and to get a more intense fill I've used this silver fill-in disc and you can see that's reflecting a good amount of light from the key light. You can see now that the transition between the lit side of the face and the shadow side of the face is super super gentle now. We haven't got any harsh line between the light and the shadow side and the overall darkness of the shadow has been lifted up to create a less moody and more inviting image. So while you can do a lot with a single light source, if you have multiple lights it gives you a lot more creative control and flexibility. If you want to learn how to use multiple lights check out this video next. I'm Jason Roberts and I'll see you in the next one.